Why is that going to happen? Coach, with uh, with the way that the defense played back to back games, is there some silver lining that the defense is progressing and that this can be one of the elite defenses in the SEC considering where the season started? I don't think anybody in this building is using the word elite right now. Uh, we've got a lot of things we can get better on. Uh, made some mental mistakes. We're covering up a lot of those right now with physical play and great effort. And I'm very proud of our football players. I mean, don't, don't get me wrong. I think they gave tremendous effort tonight and uh, you know, gave us a chance to win. But there were some critical plays and critical times where we had a mental error or something. And, and it could have been something we worked on that uh, we didn't do well. So we've got plenty we can work on to continue to get better. It's just like I said, after the Vanderbilt game, we're, we're just an above average group with, with a few people that you know, are good playmakers. If we come to practice with the right attitude and we come to the ballpark with a chip on our shoulder, we can win ball games. And if we think we're going to do it any other way, we're going to be very sad. Um, Auburn has run now three games pretty well on, on y'all. Did they do anything different uh, this game than they did in the two last season? I don't think the running game was all that. Uh, it, it was effective tonight because they got to run the play over and over uh, a number of times. And when you look at the accumulation of yards, it's there. But it's there because of the number of plays. Uh, we're very effective against the running game until it got to the point that you know, they got up to about probably 55 rushes. Uh, played bad against the Wildcat one play. That was, you know, gave my touchdown on that. We had a misfit on that. That was the worst play probably in the running game. But most of the rest of it, you know, they did a good job. I, I really think you got to give uh, kudos to Dyer. You know, he was hurt and got hurt during the game. And uh, I think he had over 40 carries. And uh, you just really got to give him a lot of credit for hanging in there and coming back in the game and pounding it up in there. But uh, I wasn't, I wasn't uh, displeased with our running defense tonight other than the fact that we had a few misfits and things like that. Coach, Melvin Ingram's already had some really good games this year. you think tonight was his best yet? I don't know. I, I, I haven't looked at all the statistics and all those kind of things. They did some good things, made some plays. Uh, you know, sometimes these guys have all the statistics and you go back and grade the film and they've got uh, technique errors or missed assignments and things like that. But I haven't gotten the point where I could tell you at the end of the game how well he played overall. I know he's really making a lot of big plays for us, and as are some of the other guys in there. But uh, give a great effort to you know, Melvin's on the punt team. He's on, uh, on one of our block teams, punt return team. He does a lot of things besides play defense, and he's really been a huge part of our football team. Yeah. So Quarles and McKnight got dinged up later. Are they going to be okay? Any serious injuries? I have not heard anything. I don't, I don't know if it's serious. Nobody told me anything really serious coming out of the locker room. Ellis, in situations like this, just in general, when one side of the ball is playing so much better than the other, do you feel the need to say to your guys, don't get down on the, those guys, keep your head up, keep playing? Or uh, Unless we have a problem, we don't address issues like that. Uh, I, I don't think our players have an attitude. If they ever do, we'll, we'll get that fixed. But And we're not playing good enough on defense, and we need to be worried about somebody else's backyard. We've got plenty to work on. Anything else for Ellis? The C.C. Whitlock interception, he, he has the one, then fumbles it, and then comes back and gets that circus pick in the end zone. How good a game did he have? Well, the, the one element of that is you really feel like you, know, you have to give him a lot of credit for bouncing back and coming back and making what I thought was an unbelievable play. But at the same time, if you take care of that football, you can wipe about six or seven of those plays off the board in the second half that are causing all the fatigue. So, uh, you know, our main problem in being on the field was we didn't possess the ball enough. We turned the ball over and we took possession of it. But we also had opportunities to get off the field defensively. And three jump out of my mind right now that we really, you know, we should have executed and gotten our, ourselves off the field. So there are a lot of things that we can do to get better at that. Ellis, with all those plays and all that time that you had to spend on the field, what did you learn about the depth that you have on your defense? Um, did you, anything, anyone stand out or anyone? Um, the conditioning I learned, you know, the mental toughness, I, I think we, you know, I think we showed a lot of that. We've got depth in some positions and more depth in others. And uh, whether the film will show that aspect. Uh, just to give an example, our linebackers, I roll them every series on them. We don't have that luxury in some positions. So I'm sure fatigue affected them much more than it did some of the other guys. But, uh, you know, it, it certainly was a plus in some positions, but we still have some issues in a couple of places where we need some, somebody to step up, 
uh, gives somebody some competition for their job and makes us a better team, makes them a better player. Also, what are some of those areas where you can see some competition? Well, we've always had good competition up front, and we've got pretty good depth at linebacker. At the spur position, Antonio is the only one making any plays for us right now, and, and uh, Demario has had to move back out there, and I think he's getting better and better. We've got to get to the point where we can play him more, and it's just in the perimeter and you know, the secondary. We, we're getting better, though. You know, we've got Victor playing some now, and Bryson Williams is ready to play, and so some of the issues that we had at the beginning of the year are certainly better at this, at this stage. Anything else for Ellis?